Our next panelist is Stephen Stacks, who is award-winning playwright and director. He is also co-director of the Fountain Theater here in Los Angeles. Welcome, Stephen. Thanks, John. Thanks very much. Um, and I am just so honored to be part of this illustrious panel. And when I was first asked to join, I began to think, well, wait a minute. I'm not a, an expert on this subject. I, I don't have a degree on this subject. I've never written a, a best-selling book on, on, on racism. I don't lecture or teach classes on whiteness. But then, so then I had to stop and check myself and realize that is maybe my way of distancing myself from this problem because I am an expert on racism and white privilege. And not because I'm the artistic director of a theater in Los Angeles that's committed to diversity and inclusion. I'm an expert on racism because I'm a white man in America. And like you, like every white person in this country, we are all already experts on racism because we instituted it and we perpetuate it and we benefit by it. So it is on us. I believe, and it's time that we take ownership of it. And that means that it's time to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And some of us may be asking our, our black friends and colleagues, what can I do? Tell me what to do. And I think that more than reach out, that this is a time for white folk to reach in, into ourselves. And that's why I think this panel today is so important that white folk need to talk to each other. It's like being an alcoholic. So, I mean, I like to think of today's gathering as being like a big national AA meeting for white people, you know, that this, that, because the first step in AA is to admit that you have a problem and that your life has become unmanageable. And as white people in this country, we have to admit to each other and say it out loud that we have a problem and our lives and the life of this country have become unmanageable. Uh, and remember in AA, admitting that you have a problem is just the first step. And there are 11 more steps to follow. So I, I kind of think of racism as being like alcoholism uh, in that nobody can do your sobriety for you you have to do that work yourself. 